here in this boat we have a 7,000 BTU. This is cooling this um, pilot house area. On top of that is cooling the, the forward cabin. So we have to be a little bit creative on how we're gonna do the air distribution here. So what we have is we have two vents feeding up this unit. They're two three inch vents. One vent is over here, so we can rotate this vent to blow at the helm to the driver. Um, so right now I have this vent blowing directly on me. It is rotatable. So we can spin it around and I can have it blowing towards the seating area over on the port side. We then have a secondary vent over here. Once again, same concept, it's also rotatable. And this vent can be rotated to blow into the Ford cabin or it can be rotated to blow and cool this, um, this pilot house area. On top of that on this boat, we have the Balmar SG200. So right now we're reading 29 amps with the unit running. We have a temperature in the boat right now of 86 degrees, um, slowly bring the temperature down. When we got in here, it was about 90. Um, and we have two 125 amp hour lithium batteries in this boat, which is going to, which is good for eight hours of runtime of the unit. It's a dedicated separate bank that's also being recharged by the engine alternator. I, I'm not able to start the engine right now, so I can't go through. Um, the different RPMs in which we will be able to maintain the unit running. It's a single Mercury 225 horsepower. So I would imagine we'd have to be somewhere in the ballpark of um, somewhere in the ballpark of about a thousand RPMs to make to maintain the unit running. And um, we have a dedicated charging system to charge off shore power. And what I'll do is I'll show you around the boat and uh, show you the exterior and show you where we have the batteries. We're looking inside, vent one, vent two, the Belmar up here. That way when you're driving you can see it. It's also available through, you can also view it through the Belmar app on your phone. So you just download the Belmar Smart Link in the App Store. I've gone through that in previous videos. We have our color touch display. So like I said, we're showing 86 right now in the, uh, in the cabin. The unit, we have it located right behind this cabinet here. So we'll open up. right behind over there. It's our 7000 BTU. We have our battery charger up on that wall right there. Control box for the unit, as well as the circuit breaker that we're gonna shut off if we're ever leaving the boat unattended for a long period of time with no shore power. And then our terminal block where we're doing our connections to make it uh, easy to access. The discharge location is very important to know. The water discharge, which is going to be on the starboard side of the boat. You see it coming out over there. So we want to make sure we have flow coming out of there when we're running the AC unit. If we don't have flow, all we need to do is come to this little valve here and open it up to purge any air out that may have ended up stuck in the pump. So this is our pump setup. So we have our strainer, we have our pump going to the unit with a little purge valve right here. We leave this loose, that way you can go into a top. You don't have to go straight into the bilge, although you can just put it in the bilge right over there. And then if we look down, this is where the through hole is located. So we have the through hole coming in, we have our valve hose going, this hose to the strainer, and then the continuation over there. Under this floor here, under this hatch, here we have a sump pump. So this is for the, for the drain of the AC unit. So that's what the second through hole is next to so the first one spitting water. We have another one that's doing nothing. Well, that one is what will turn on if we have the sump pump activated. Over here, we have our DC to DC charger. So this is how we're charging from the engine alternator. Here we have the smart shunt. 
here we have the Bluetooth module, so that way you can view it through the, uh, through the app on your phone. And then over here we have marked, so Belmar, so this is the fuse for the Belmar Smart Link. So if your display is not working, something's acting up, it could be the fact that this is disconnected. Um, or if the Belmar acts up, what you could do is pull this fuse out and let it reset itself. Also, we have the fuse for the DC to DC charger. So if you realize that you're running the um, that you're running the DC to DC charger, you're not getting anything out of it. It could be this fuse that's blown, or it can also be the input fuse that we have over here. Then we have our two lithium batteries located behind the existing batteries. Once again, our concept is oftentimes we try to take as little usable space away from customers, so that wasn't a place that was able to be accessed, so that's why we located our batteries back here. These are two 125 amp hour batteries, um, lithium by Mabrel, and once again, these two batteries are good for eight hours of runtime at full speed with the unit running. Okay, here we just hit the different areas. Two of the head over here. the Ford cabin, a little storage under here, compartment, batteries over there. And here we're looking at the 795 by Jano. Once again, with a Mabru installation, it's a 7000 BTU DC unit. Right now, with pump and everything running, and at full speed, we're drawing 29 amps. So let's go back and let me show you those 29 a little bit closer. So right now, we're actually at 28 amps. And that's disconnected from everything, that's what the unit is drawing from the batteries.